blessed morning children welcome back to our social class so children what was the last topic yes it was about industries and we saw what is an industry and we discussed about the different types of industries what are the children small scale industries large scale industries and cottage industries isn't it and we also saw some of the major industries in india and where are the places located okay so today we are going to start a new chapter so children before that how do you move from one place to another yes by using transport by using different types of vehicles isn't it yes and how do we communicate with each other by using mobile phones tv all the other electronic sources isn't it yes and now the name of our lesson is transport and communication so in this video we'll be discussing about the different types of transport okay so we can travel from one corner of the country to another in a few hours and we can communicate with the people living thousands of kilometer away seconds and all these have been made possible by modern means of transport and communication so first now let's see about the different means of transport now let's do the get set exercise given in page number 67 in our text okay so here some words related to transport and communication are given in the box you have to write them in the correct columns okay mode of transport and means of communication so here you are having letter bicycle telephone ship email and train so what you have to do now you have to segregate it according to the heading modes of transport and means of communication so first what will you write under modes of transport yes ship bicycle train and under means of communication we have letter email and telephone so only humans traveled on foot isn't it did they have all the facilities as we have now no so then they invented wheel and started making carts and these were pulled by animals so however they were slow modes of transport and today there are fast modes of transport which can cover longer distances in very less time so india has a well developed network of transport and we have our well built roadways railways waterways and airways now let's see them one by one so first up topic is about roadways so a country has a large network of roads and the roads are either metal or non metal and most roads in cities and towns are metal and they are made of stone cement and tar so these are the materials used to lay a metal road okay and unmetal roads are generally found in villages and the most important roads in india are the national highways and the state highways okay and the national highways are constructed and maintained by the central government and nh44 is the longest national highway in india with a length of 3745 km okay and the national highways connect the state capitals and other big cities and towns so the next one is state highways they connect the cities and towns within the state with the national highways so we saw that national highways were maintained by the central government isn't it then what about the state highways they are maintained by the state governments okay children so under roadways we have learnt about national highways and state highways so next we are going to see about the railways so underline in your textbook children what we are going to see now railways are the lifeline of our country underline railways are the lifeline of our country why because they connect all parts of india and at the time of independence trains were run by steam engines and these were replaced by diesel and electric engines and this increased the speed of the trains and nowadays trains such as rajasthan express and shatbadi express travel at a speed of 120 to 130 kilometers per hour shall we see the rajasthan express now yes So children this is the Rajasthan Express okay and it travels at the speed of 120 to 130 km per hour and in some cities there are metro trains and these trains move on elevated or underground tracks and Mumbai has a well connected network of local trains So now let's see the fact 
the palace on wheels the maharaja express and the deccan odyssey are the names of the luxury trains available in india and these trains are popular with foreign tourists so the next topic what we are going to see is, is about waterways okay so water transport is the cheapest mode of transport and most suitable for transporting heavy goods so you all know that the passenger ships carry people and the cargo ships what you are seeing in the picture they transport goods so look at this ship children yes how does it look yes they are called tanker ships so what do they carry they carry petroleum and oil so along india's coastline there are 13 major and nearly 200 minor ports underlined in your textbook so the ports at kandla gujarat and paradip odisha are the biggest among the major ports so under waterways we have seen about passenger ships cargo and tanker ships then about the ports we have 13 major ports and 200 minor ports and the ports at kanla gujarat and paradip odisha are the biggest among the major ports so the next topic will be airways yes you all like airways isn't it children so aeroplanes are the fastest mode of transport and major cities and towns of india are connected by airways and aeroplanes transport people and goods especially perishable goods such as fresh fruits flowers and vegetables to far off places and some aeroplanes also carry mail and both government and the private airlines operate in our country So helicopters are used in areas that are difficult to reach and they are used to drop food and medicines and rescue people during natural disasters what do you call by natural disasters yes flood earthquake forest fire like that so that time which vehicle can reach their children can auto bus and all go in that place no then they use helicopters to rescue people from such places okay so aeroplanes are the fastest mode of transport and we also saw aeroplane transport people and goods especially perishable goods such as fresh fruits flowers and vegetables then what is the use of helicopters they are used in areas that are difficult to reach in time of natural disasters so now let's do the checkpoint given in our textbook okay circle the correct words a dash is a fast mode of transport yes it is train second one local trains are popular in dash mumbai or chennai mumbai okay third one there are dash major ports in india how many major ports do we have we have 13 major ports and nearly 200 minor ports fourth one perishable goods are transported by aeroplanes or ships by aeroplanes since it is the fastest mode of transport okay so dear children go through once again about the modes of transport given in your textbook and write the assignment neatly in your classwork without making any spelling mistake okay children thank you everyone have a great day